Oh, fucking hell! Jesus Christ! I'm back, guys. What's going on? It's Nova Meister. Uh, I was going to make this a blow my mind thing, but I've done a lot of blow my minds. And, uh, because it does have sort of elements of the blow my mind series in, but it's just basically going to be me talking about whether I'm religious or not. Because some people have asked me, uh, it back when I used to dress up in a Jesus outfit and my commentaries and back in the back in the fucking golden oldie days um, whether I was religious and I always wanted to do a commentary about this but I was never sure because I do respect people's religions it's something that I, I always um, I will never look at someone and think that I'm right above someone else's religions or faith or whatever because you can't you can't do that no like there's always someone that knows more about something than you and um, like, that's why I don't I don't bother but I thought that it'd be good to give my own sort of religion and my own ideas and things just so that I can put it out there. Uh, I don't mean any disrespect to anyone. I'm not saying I'm right. I'm definitely not saying we're right. My own theories of like different stuff like religion and stuff. But yeah, I am basically agnostic, which is I don't believe in anything fully, but I'm open to all ideas. Um, there's nothing that's really convinced me. I used to go to the Salvation Army ages ago, and they were a great bunch of people. I mean, they used to do loads of stuff for people, and it was amazing to uh, be part of that group, even though I didn't really have faith when I was younger. I didn't really... I've always been quite a... I think you guys can tell from uh, my commentaries. I've always been interested in facts and factual stuff, and so I've never really... I, don't, I mean, I don't want to argue about why I don't believe in God, because I'm guessing most of you will kind of gather it, um, or assume why, and uh, it's just something that I've, I, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm envious of people that actually do have religion in their lives, because it is a good thing, it's a, it's a, it can, well, it can be a good thing, um, I don't want to start that debate either, <laughs> fuck that, I don't want to be part of that, I know what happens to people that get involved with that, and I don't want to get involved, so yeah, uh, but my I'm I'm agnostic and my beliefs on how the universe started and um, all of that sort of stuff. Uh, I don't know whether this is actually a theory that has been made. I know there is a theory called the Big Crunch, which is how the universe will end, which is that the universe expanded and that gravity will soon um, lose to anti gravity at a certain point because we're expanding at the moment. The universe is always expanding and. Uh, th there's a theory that suggests we'll carry on expanding for forever or we'll stop expanding because I think the rate of expansion is going down or something. Um, but there's another theory called the Big Crunch where the universe will expand to a certain degree and then it will come back and it will go, uh, it will crush itself and that will be the end of the universe. But this is my theory, and I don't know whether this is a theory. Sorry if I'm plagiarizing someone, I don't know. It's just something that I've thought in my head because although trying to understand universe and religion and why we're here or whether we're random and all that is a stupid thing to do because you can't really you can't really ever know for certain because we, I just don't think we're going to get there especially not in our lifetime but oh and it's definitely not going to be me that does it so it's a bit weird but we do it anyway we think about these things and it's always good to do because uh, as, as humans we're an inquisitive species but what I think what I thought is that when the Big Bang happened and it, it goes out and they say there's no randomness in the universe they say everything is uh, predetermined and I kind of believe that I kind of believe that we don't really have free will which is depressing in some ways but then at the same time if free will if we feel like we have free will then kind of we do have free will but we're also predictable so I don't really mind but take it as you will so everything in the universe is not, um, is, it, well, it can be seen as random, but it's predictable, but some stuff are, is unpredictable, but just because we don't know enough to predict it. So everything happens, everything was meant to happen because everything, you know, um, like, everything is inevitable. All chemical reactions and stuff are inevitable. They were bound to happen in that way, because they're all a product of something, of a, of a, of a reaction or something that was you know, part that follows the laws of science. So it was always going to happen. Because um, there's like no anomalies, if you know what I mean. So if that happens and the universe expands, um, and then we lose to anti-gravity and we go back, I my theory is that the Big Bang happens over and over again, and that the Earth will be created in the same way, and that us humans uh, are made in the same way. And if that's the case, then I think that I may have been alive but lived exactly the same life, but not realised I lived exactly the same life, because 
I've been created as an organism again and again and again, but as a different organism with no memories, if you get me, my meaning. So I actually think that we've lived millions and millions of times. Like, I don't know that. It's very, very probable that that is not the case. But that is what my theory is in my head. That's what I like to believe at the moment, is that uh, the Big Bang happens, we expand as a universe, we lose the battle with anti-gravity in the end of the universe, and it will slowly go back in towards a Big Bang, uh, in towards one single particle, and then the Big Bang will happen again, and it will follow the same thing because everything's inevitable, there is no randomness, and we will be created again as human beings, the Earth will be created. And when you think of it as that way, it kind of makes you think, oh well, you know, I don't know, that we're going to live again and again in the, the universe. I, I quite like that theory, I, it's quite a comforting feeling for me, even though it might not be the best of both, you know, like the best of going to heaven and all this sort of stuff. But that's just something that I believe and quite like to believe. But I thought I'd share that with you guys. Um, as for, uh, like, afterlife and all that sort of stuff, then I'm really not too, I mean, I don't really believe in it and I'm not really too bothered about the afterlife. I mean, I don't really mind too much because I don't know if I'd l want to live for like thousands and millions of years and forever where there's no end. But, you know, uh, each to their own. Anyway, guys, that's just been my commentary. Uh, leave your own theories about how you think the universe will end or how you think uh, your own religion and all that sort of stuff. And I might do some more top topics on the matter if everyone's sensible and it's handled in a good way. But hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys understood. And as always... Thank you very much and good night.